Oh, that's actually a dope shot. Okay, so, hi. Um, I also want to talk about insecurity in women, namely insecurity in hops who can't walk outside without wearing slave paint. Um, my friend just sent me some screenshots from this feces book discussion. I'm not going to say any names, don't worry. But um, these are plenty of, just these two comments that I'm going to read for you are things that I've heard from multiple women, not just the women in here. Um, but just generally, and people, women say this stuff in my comments all the time, so I thought I'd just talk about it. So um, the first uh, hold on. What did my friend say? God, she's so brilliant. I'll link you to her vids. Hold on. Um, she's told me she was glad that women in a feces book are, a feces book, um, discussion are denouncing femininity. And then she sent me these screenshots. Okay. So the first one is, I find myself still feeling that I'm sloppy or don't care about myself when I choose not to wear a bra. I feel, quote-unquote, less than, unquote, when I see women walking around with perfect hair and makeup. Even though I don't want a child right now, I feel guilty at the thought of not being able to have one. I'd love to hear other women's hang-ups to try and get a better perspective on what is inside myself. Okay, first of all, um, I never wear a bra. Uh, I actually would wear a bra to the gym if I went to the gym. But um, I would like to wear a bra, you know, in just to work out. Like, that. I'm okay with that. Um, I never wear a bra. Um, these kinds of shirts with any kind of picture on them, uh, what they do is they actually uh, bunch up the threads of the fabric. So on this side, like where the picture is, it makes it tighter and coarser, therefore. So like mom actually can't really wear these without uh, a cami. I've got a cami on under this shit. Do you understand me? Because the coarser fabric rub ups, rubs against my nipples and it fucking chafes them and it hurts. So I get protecting your nipples, gals. Protect those. But um, that doesn't mean you have to wear a bra. Like, why would you, why would you have to wear a bra? I never wear a bra. Um, I never wore a bra. I haven't been wearing a bra for like years, honestly, and there's just no point to it. Um, and actually, when I see women walking around with perfect hair and makeup, I really feel sorry for them. Um, I was in public the other day, and I this gal gave me a brilliant idea of just walking by this gal. And she was actually a, a very beautiful woman, but she had so much slave paint on her face. It was, I, I can't imagine it wasn't clouding her vision, because it had to have been. Um, I'm sure actually you could like poke a, put a ruler on her face and, you know, powder would come off on it and you could measure, you know, the, the caked on layer of bullshit slave paint she put on her face, um, would have come off. Um, but you have to just start thinking the opposite. It's actually the opposite of what society says. A woman who is wearing a ton of slave paint is wearing a ton of garbage on her face. Like, can you imagine finding wet garbage and just smearing that on your face and going to work with said wet garbage on your face? That's what women who wear a slave paint are doing. That's what they're doing. You're, you're dirtying yourself by putting that bullshit on your face. And you need to, I know it's hard, okay? I know it's hard, but you need to just start thinking the opposite because the, it's the opposite. A woman who has a ton of slave paint on her face is not put together, is showboating the fact that she's traumatized, um, and is proud to be subordinate to men. You know, that's what makeup says about us when we wear it, so that's why we don't fucking wear it. <laughs> we, why we ought not fucking wear it. Um, and I actually had this brilliant idea. Is like, what if I made, like, flyers or something? Say I had one of these on hand, this would have been ideal. Uh, when I passed this really beautiful woman who had a shit ton of slave paint on her face, um, and she was just getting food. I mean, maybe she was doing something before or after, but while getting food, breakfast, she had to have an hour at least worth of slave paint on her face. I was like, wow, honey, you need to, you need to chill out. Um, but so say I had these flyers, right? Or just pieces of paper. What if I had like dropped one right in front of her? 
and then she would have hopefully gone to pick it up and been like, excuse me, you dropped this. And I would have been like, psych, it's for you. And it would have said, hey, that bullshit you're putting on your face is making you subordinate to men. It's perpetuating sexism and you are practicing self-harm by wearing it and it looks horrible on you. You did a good job, but it looks stupid. Oppression looks stupid on all women. And then she would have had that to read over breakfast. Um, women are so incredibly traumatized about their natural appearances, probably because of whatever the fuck they went through as children. Um, I kind of touched on my, my shaving story and why I shaved as a kid, you know, and that was in fact traumatizing. Um, Terry kind of talks about it in her gender journey. Um, you know, what painting her nails really meant for her, what painting, what painting your nails really means for women means for you in general, you know? Um, but so I'm just saying you need to start thinking the opposite. And when you see a woman wearing a bra who does not need one, cause some, some women actually do need to wear a bra. Um, but like, that's obvious, you know, obviously I don't fucking need a bra clearly. Um, you need to start thinking the opposite. Start thinking she's wearing slave paint means she's fucked up. She's wearing a bra also means she's fucked up because she's choosing to wear this thing. Basically, the only function <laughs> of bras is to, um, the main function of bras when you don't need one is to cover your nipples because, you know, they get erect when it's cold out or whatever. And it's like, I have no shame about my nipples being erect because I am in fact a woman and my nipples are in fact healthy and they are in fact functioning at you know peak performance and like but that's not embarrassing it's not embarrassing to be a woman don't be embarrassed to be a woman if you're embarrassed not to wear a bra if you're embarrassed not to wear um slave paint you're embarrassed to be a woman and i'm sorry about that and you need to get yourself out of that circular thinking and start thinking okay it's bad to wear makeup okay it's bad to wear a bra if i absolutely don't need one you can do it. I'm telling you. Um, let's read. Oh, even though I don't want a child right now, I feel guilty at the thought of not being able to have one. <sighs> that is, that is so fucked up. I can't even really comprehend it. Um, so let's just say she's not in a place right now where she can afford a kid. Maybe she doesn't even have a male partner. Why would that be bad? Why would you be ashamed to not have a kid? Maybe her parents are, are you know, um, impinging parenthood upon her. I don't know, but that is that is so fucked up. And I am so sorry for any woman that's dealing with that. Um, okay, another uh, comment was, I've struggled with body dysmorphia for the majority of my life. When I'm around women who have more conventionally attractive facial features or body types, I start feeling super insecure and feel like I have no business being around anyone other than my cats. That really breaks my heart, honestly. That is so fucked up. Um, you know, the fact that women are so encouraged to wear slave paint and so encouraged to not be themselves really says a lot. You know, the fact that women are infantilized by, you know, people telling them their makeup looks pretty or whatever the fuck. Um, and just society in general infantilizes, you know, pretty women. Um, makes women who aren't infantilizing themselves, makes women who aren't practicing femininity feel like they're at fault. And that, again, is the complete opposite of what should be happening. You know, we, we shouldn't be rewarding women for wearing slave paint especially not to work that is not professional especially if you work i mean literally anywhere but if you're working in you know uh the food industry don't you dare fucking wear makeup around my food lady that's gross i don't want your fucking fa fake eyelashes or your caked on foundation falling in my food ew that's unsanitary um you know When I'm around women who have more conventionally attractive facial features or body types, I start feeling super insecure. Okay, here's the thing. There will always be a woman prettier than you. There will always be a woman uglier than you. But how, how can you even come to terms with that fact if you can't be around other women? 
you can't. And and just because, you know, that woman you think is prettier than you doesn't mean that other people think that way. Maybe other people think that you're prettier than that woman, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> because it we can't live in this in this state and I have problems with this too. Like really I do. I I, I have issues with this. I have issues with with constantly competing with other other women and other people in my mind. I mean, it's like everything is a competition. It's like we do not need to live that way. We cannot live that way. You know? Um, it it is true, you know, that that some women are more conventionally attractive than others. But that's just life. And just because maybe you're less conventionally attractive than this hypothetical woman in the same room as you doesn't mean you you have less to offer. Like, generally, your looks aren't something you have, your looks aren't something you really have a lot of control over. You know, you can control, um, you can somewhat control your weight to a certain degree. You know, you can, you can control your diet. Um, that can alter your appearance. Um, you can do all this bullshit like slave pain and dyeing your hair, but all of that is fake. And I'm saying like, no matter what you do, you know, no matter how many fake endeavors you, you, you put on your face, how many fake ways you alter your appearance, you know, you're wearing a fucking corset, you're wearing rape shoes, whatever. It doesn't matter because, yeah, there always will be that prettier woman. There always will be that uglier woman. And once you once you shed yourself of all your fucking masks, you can start to be yourself. Like, clearly this woman in this comment does not know how to be herself. Just standing there. Just standing there, she cannot do. Just being looked at by other people, she cannot do because she has been so conditioned by patriarchy by her life by society that she needs to be a much better version of herself and that is so fucked up that is so fucked up that we're in that way of thinking and it really needs to stop and if more women would just stop wearing slave paint the world would be a better place <laughs>